Good morning, Rab Boisai. Yeah. Today's cheer is sponsored by the Sherman and Friedman families. Avi Sherman is making a chasan now. On the upcoming marriage this evening of the children, Akiva and Shoshana, the Ziv should be Oyla Yofa, may they be Zorcha to build a bias, never be Israel. Amen. Rafi Zorov and family from Cincinnati and Detroit. Lili Nishma is my mother, Zahava, Baz Mordechai, is your side, is tonight, Chavov of. And the parents of Choydish, Michael Ben Mel, in memory of his mother, Devorah mother, Devor, Fagel, Baz, Shmuel, Zachorin, Levrocha. And Father in law Menachem Mendel Ben El Chonan, Zachorin, Levrocha. And the merit to make it to Umar, which is Shoda this year. Seems like the father in law was a uh, Chabadnik, no? The voice, I, I received a crazy amount of emails today. And it was hard to uh, pick. I hope to get back one day to all these emails. I got it, and they're long. I have three Givaldic emails, maybe a fourth one, which I don't read that type of email ever, but maybe during the share, because it's a little bit and I get the share, I'll read. Dear Rebelli, I'm going to fly through these because they're long. First, I want to take this opportunity to wish you and your wife a huge Mazel Tov and Aram al I've been a silent, typically British, YouTube comment from London every day since halfway through Erevin. I've really enjoyed your interactive stream with the charged jokes, speaking to the oil, etc. Unfortunately, I had a massive heart attack on Friday and was found by my son who saved my life by calling out Saul and getting me in the recovery position. He had been really disappointed by not getting an insured to get back to Israel from the UK for Elzman, but Hashem works in mysterious ways to ensure he was there to save my life. Being able to pick up your Daf Yomi Shir from my ICU bed on Motsi Shabbos and the past two days gave me real comfort and chizuk when I was feeling low about my situation. You brought me joy in sharing your simcha and told me Torah at my hospital bed when I was surrounded by beeping machines making sure I was alive all whilst visiting the sick in UK hospitals is not allowed due to COVID. So he's lonely and by himself and in fear for his life. Thank you so much to you, the MDY team, the Chabur Oilam, this fantastic learning opportunity and the chizuk you have given me. Please keep my name anonymous. I already said it. I got in trouble already today once for that. I, ma- I didn't have this. Sorry. Sorry from Edgeware, London. I, maybe Yosef could take it out in the editing. Okay. This guy did not ask me to. I really didn't have that. Sorry. This is by David Zlotnik. Gewaldike guy from New York. A real clever man. With a, he's a solid guy also. This is a Gewaldike email. Dear Rebelli, I want to share with you how I first how I saw firsthand how Yashir can change, can change a person's life. A friend of mine let, met me one late Sunday night right after the terrible tragedy in Surfside. He knew one of the people who was Nifter and was down in Florida before they found the person as well by Levi and Shiva. We started schmoozing and he was kind of down after this terrible tragedy and said he started to realize life was serious and his words were put so honestly and bluntly he said, my tank is empty. At that moment I said, you are starting the daf tomorrow. I guarantee it will change your life and you'll see, you'll, you'll make a siyum li'ilu nishmas the nifter you knew. Great idea. I showed him a few clips and he said, looks interesting, but as the Yitzhahar does his job so well, he says to me, the Masechta started a few days ago. I can't jump in now. It's so hard for me to learn. Now listen to this, Rabbi. So listen to this line, which I used already three times today, including my attorney. One of my attorneys I spoke to today, he told me, I, what's the next Masechta? I'm going to start the next Masechta. So listen to this line, it's beautiful. If I said to someone, I'll give you only 30 seconds as opposed to one minute in a bank to grab as much money as you can, you wouldn't do it? So you learn only 50 blot, not the full Masechta. You can always make up the da if you missed and still make a siyum. The next day I texted him late in the day and asked him, did you buy a Gemara? He said the store is out of them. I quickly ran out and bought him one and dropped it off at his office. Fast forward to today. He hasn't missed a daf since he started. He even made the dafs he missed. He said to me a week or so ago, I don't think I've ever learned 17 days straight in my life. Now he's sending me pictures of him learning on the plane, late at night, even Motsi Tishabov. He's now sending me what I'm saying, I need today's daf, but is it on YouTube yet? I said back to him, when did you ever say you need a daf gemar in your life? Your Mr. Shem, I'll make his first scene with sukkah and many, many more. He'll make his first. This is all due to you. I want to share this. As I know, you and your team kill yourself at the shear and want to see the full impact of what it can do. We have an unbelievable team. Each and every one of the guys, there's so many of them. Now, we're going to include Mark Ashkenazi as part of the team. He's, a, he's an official member of the team. These guys, they work hours and hours every day. 
Looking forward to seeing you once again and sharing your simcha by the Sherry Brox and Borah Park. Sincerely, David Zlatnik. David, Lamaisa Gered, you're a very good looking guy. You're a Matzliach the good guy. You use your koiches for the right things. You schlepped a bunch of guys to the Shir. Chel Chalaraisa, unbelievable. Give Valdik an email. And finally, I have to read this. Do we have a minute or two? My last day in Chicago. We'll end off with a bang here. Dear Belly, my name is Moshe Mayer. I hope he doesn't say anonymous at the end. No. I'm 27. If you want to say anonymous, please put it in the beginning, and I'll probably ignore it anyway. But if you put it all at the end of the email, how many are going to... Shalom Aleichem, Tzadik. What's your name? Uh, Elchanan Berman from Brooklyn. Elchanan from Brooklyn visiting Chicago. I feel bad for you. Okay, but when you're here, go check out the burgers and everything. My name is Moshe Mayer. I'm 27 from Pasek, New Jersey. Mazel Tov, your son's marriage. After seeing this morning's daf, Chav Zayin, I feel... Like, at least I can, the least I can do to show my cars Tov is to write to you and your family. Learning has always been a tremendous struggle for me. With the help of Hashem, my parents always had the best rabbi learning with me one on one from elementary school through the basement. We have here a tremendous Talmud Chacham, Rav Zalman Tversky, a manal of over 500 children. We were with him last night. He made a siyum on Mesech Yuma. I was there till three in the morning. I'm not exaggerating. And he was telling me all about the chinuch he does, a one on one rabbi, and to, to make sure that the kids don't go on all that medication that everybody's throwing the kids on. From there, go through the base medrash. To know a veil did it click. Hour after hour in the base medrash, nothing. In yeshiva, I would look at all the svarim and the svarim shrank, listening to the kultoyer in the base medrash, and dream I was steiging and handling in the sugya. Six years ago, I Hashem, got married. After three months in Koyla, I went to work. The base medrash became a painful place for me. Over the past six years, I have not opened a Gemara. Rabbi Isai, you know how many people we have like that? They shtag away in Shiva, or at least they pretend they shtag. Once they get married, as they feel, listen, if I don't, if I'm not learning Lamdas, I'm not learning Gishmak like we did in Yeshiva with Rabbi Chaim, it's not worth it. It's mamish a shame. It's a shame. Learning the daf is the way to go. I've been learning Musa and Halacha, but it wasn't fulfilling enough. Because again, he, I stumbled upon Yeshiva and Rebelli. You mamish changed my life. Since listening to your Shir Baruch Hashem, I have such a sweetness in Torah. So sweet. Torah is so gishmak. And getting cl- closer to the Rebbein Shalom. Ah! I do my best to fill every extra minute of time with Torah. I want to say thank you to you and your wife and your family. I cannot even begin to understand the sacrifice, stress, anxiety, and nefesh, and chaos. The Regis Nafiyami has put you and your wife through. <laughs> that was a tough one. I don't know how you th- how to thank you and your family enough. From my family to yours, thank you so, so, so much. Moshe Meyer, Yvaldik. And finally, Dudi Itzkowitz sending a picture. You know that famous, uh, I forgot who it was, one of the G'dayla, maybe it was Rav Shach said, no, I don't think it was Rav Shach. Like, what's what's, what's Ganeiden? A stender with a Gemara and a cigarette. That was Ganeiden. So here's a picture of Ganeiden. There's water in the background, he has his Lipton iced tea, he has his sunglasses, his watch, his ear pods, the whole zach, the whole setup. This is Mavish Gan Eden. The, 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 the view, the whole thing. And finally, Rabbi Isai, I gotta plug this, it's big time. For those of you who couldn't make it to, is it backwards now because I'm backwards? Okay. If you couldn't make it to the Hasana, which 99% of the people couldn't, so please join me, especially if you're the shy type of guy, because I've heard about a bunch of guys that are too shy, they get anxiety, they don't like meeting new people. Please, do me a favor. I'm coming to New York, I want to meet you. I want to meet the Mishpacha. We're family, right? Come. Zemer Hall, 1325 38th Street. Money should not be an object. It probably costs $150 a person. They're asking for $75 suggested. You don't have to give anything. If money's a thing, don't bother with the money. If money's not a thing to you, then give quadruple. But Lamaisa, don't let money stare. Come. I believe they're opening it up for women also. There's going to be a table or two for women, three table, whatever, every minute. Because there have been a, some, some women want to come to meet my wife. So there'll be a mechitza. There'll be tables for women. Hop on over. I will see you there, meet you there. It's all about the chas and the I'll still, I'm allowed to say hello to people, right? All right. So here we go. Give Val today. Tomorrow I'm in New York, I have no idea where. Probably in the five towns sometime, we'll figure it out. Okay. Tan Rabbanon daf koyach. Koyach. Kiu anoysen l'cha koyach. Daf chov ches omed alav. Two lines down. Tan Rabbanon maise b'Rebbe Eliezer sheshavaz b'Golol el There's a story with the Rebbe Eliezer. He was in Golol. 
The upper Galil. Ushaleu Shloishim Alochis Bilchis Sukkah. Wow. <laughs> they asked him 30 questions. One, two. Can you imagine you're a rabbi and they start bombing you? 30 questions. Shtem Israel Malem Shomati. 12 of them he said, I heard. Shmoyna Israel Malem Loi Shomati. You know what? Andrew brought some wine as usual. Baruch Ato Adi Noi Leinam El Chilom. Boirei Priya Gofen. L'chaim Reb Andrew Glatz. L'chaim. So, he said, Shomati. Shmoyna Israel Malem Loi Shomati. Oh, so for Kert. Well, let me see. Twelve, he said, I heard the halacha, I can tell you the answer. I might know the answer, I'm not telling you, because I didn't hear it. It's a continuation of Yasser's Gemara. The majority of them, he knew, he heard from his Rebbe, we have a gishmaki, a gata coming up now, all the way to the Mishnah. What? You can't answer us, unless you heard it from your Rebbe, Omer Lehem. You are forcing me now to say something that I never heard from my Rabbeim. And the Gemara goes on. And it's Kedai to pay attention to everything that he says here. My entire life, never has it happened that somebody beat me to the base Hamedrash. I've always been the first guy in and the last guy out. Although we learned, you know, the Tamil Chachomim used to sleep on the floor and the Talaisim and the Shisha Batal Sechod. I've never, even though I was allowed to, I have never slept even a Shenas Arai, a temporary sleep. I never left somebody behind. I was always the last one out. I was once on a trip with those uh, guys that were trying to make Balik Tshuva, and a guy got up to give a speech, asked him to speak, a very wealthy guy. He's like, you see this key? I'm always the first one in the base Medrash, and always, it's, it's better if somebody else says it about you. It's not so Kedai. V'loi <laughs> hinachti I never shmu stam shtuyot, shtusim, divri avai, for bringing, sit around, stand, plopple, never did that. Veloyo marti dover shali shamati mipi rabbi moilam. Here we go. And so some want to say that the first things that he said are things that he never heard from his rabbi. He was imitating his rabbi, but he wanted to say, look, I'm a very regimented person. I, I work in a certain order. I do certain things in a certain way. Don't force me to say, Halachas, I didn't hear straight out from my Rebbe. Even though I know the answer, I'm not going to answer. Omru Olav Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai, who was the Rebbe of Rebbe Eliezer. Miyomov Eloi Soch Sichas Chulan. He learned it from his Rebbe. He never stam shmuzd. It was always in learning. If you notice my father, if you're at the Chasana, or you just know my father as is, that's the type of person he is. He, 99% of what he talks is in tires. So you talk to him, you start schmoozing with him, and all of a sudden it just turns immediately into learning, and you, ha- you regret it immediately, and you walk away. <laughs> but it's... V'loi holach, dalet, amois, v'loi toiro, u'v'loi tefillin. That's also my dad a little bit. He never walked for Amos without tefillin and toiro. Can you imagine, like, always in the street, walking in the street, always thinking and learning. Like Kodmoi, Adam Vais Hamedrish, he was always the first one there. We're talking about in the time of the Tanoim, they weren't lazy, they weren't coming to be finished at 11 o'clock in the afternoon. They were also early, but he was the earliest. So he did not think in learning. Now, if you are a Godel like Rabbi Yechim and Zakai, and your whole entire life, you can imagine, as you're walking in the street, you're chazering Gemaras and, and the Mishnayis. They are the Gemara, whatever. They're chazering Mishnayis and Torah. It's very, very difficult to stop when you go to the bathroom. It's a tremendous, it's 24-7 by them. just wanted to point out, the Vilna Goyen wrote this sefer called Ayel Mishulosh in the bathroom. To, so he doesn't think, it's not, a, it's not a made-up story. It's an actual book in geometry. I have just one, I was only able to find one, uh, 
this is what it looks like inside, a lot of different, and there's a pirush on it. Okay, anyway, to distract oneself from thinking in Torah, you, uh, different stories about different Gdailam with newspapers, who knows what, but that's a good example of somebody that wrote math, which is like a Shbarchus Chachma, to distract himself from learning Torah. He never left anybody behind him, you never found him just spacing out. He's always sitting and learning Torah. By the way, that is something that I like to say about my Shver. He's a surgeon, but you'll never, ever find him sitting still. He's always either learning Torah. So if you're an Enochal, you zoich at the seat. Shabbos morning, two hours, three hours before davening. He's always with the Gemara, learning. If not, then he's working on his cases or whatever. But he's a... He's never you should have done. You never see him like, oh, staring at a screen or something like that. Very big zah. Anyway... This is very chashev, that he always opened the door for his Talmidim. So Rabbi Eliezer got this from his own Rebbe, who also never repeated anything unless he heard it from his Rebbe, who probably also only repeated things from his Rebbe. But Kitzer went all the way to Moshe Rabbeinu. He never told people, okay, let's go. It's time to go home. Why? Because you don't do that. A lot of people stay and learn Torah. Besides, on Erev Pesach, where Rashi says that every the Olam, the Bachram, have to prepare their carbon Pesach. And the very interesting Rashi that we learned in Mesech Psachim is that that's the one day that the fathers go home and put their children to sleep so that they could be ready for the Seder night. And I was thinking to myself, even today, then I don't think I thought about it that much. But it's probably a very difficult job for a mother to do. That's why you need to bring in the forces. How can you get your kid to go to sleep in the middle of the day? There's no way. You get the, the big guns in on Ere Pesach, they get them in for the shlof, and then we have a wonderful Seder. All this was just to say that Rebbe Yezer, that's why when they asked him 30 questions, the ones he didn't know, the 12, the 18, he said, I'm not going to... I know them. I do know them. I didn't hear them from Rabbi Yochim and Zakai. I'm not answering you. Tonor Rabbanon. Shmoinim Talmidim Oyeloi Lehila Zokin. Very famous Gemara. Hillel Hazokin had 80 Talmidim. That's a lot of Talmidim. Shloishim Ahem Ru'im Shetishu Aleim Shekhinah Kemoish Rabbeinu. 30 of them, they were so great that they could have had the Shekhinah bin Shaira on them just like Moish Rabbeinu. U Shloishim Ahem Ru'im Shetam Aleim Chamo Kishu Abinun. And 30 of them were a little less of a Madrega. That the sun could have stopped for them. Esrim be noinim and twenty in between. God should be cool. I'm gonna say in Uziel. The greatest l'chayir means the greatest of the eighty was Yonasim ben Uziel. God should be cool on. You can't believe it. Yochim ben Zakai, smallest out of the eighty. Amru all of our Yochim ben Zakai. So what's the smallest look like? Well, who is the smallest Tana? We're talking about Tanoim. There were Mechayim Meisim. And did everything, and they could make the sun stop. Tanoim. What is he? The, 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 the weakest out of the bunch. Shloiniach Mikro, he knew the Kolatar Kulo. Umishnan, Shishu Sidri Mishnan. Gemara. We're talking about the Gemara in the time of the Tanoim, Rashi explains, because Gemara is later on of Amirayim, but they also they had back and forth. Halachos. Halachos means Halacha Lamesh Messinai. Do we know any Halacha Lamesh Messinai, Rabbi Isai? Lavod, good asik mechitzta, doifan akuma. He says tefillin, shiurim mechitzin, chatzitzin, vagodais. The different the midrashim, dikduk dik tayra. As Rashi points out, we're going to have today this pasuk, ha Ezra, the darshan, the hay of ha Ezra. Rashi brings it. It's on our daf. These dikdukim, each letter, each ice, the dikduke soifrim, the gzeris of chachamim, kalim vechamurim, kavachoimers, ugzeris shavas. Kavachoimers, something you, you can do on your own, gzeris shavas, you must receive from a tradition, tekufois. Tekufois is the way the sun and the moon and the whole, everything, the celestial, all the, all the gishmaka things in the sky. Vigematriois, atbash, gematrias. Sichas Malachi Asharis. 
Says Rashi, I don't know what it means exactly. I think he's talking about this as well. The, the language of the palm trees, whatever that means, and the language of Shadim, for some reason Rashi says, I'm not understanding what it means. I don't have a lot of knowledge in that area. But he knew it. He knew it all. And based on this Gemara, some want to say, there's a bracha that you make when you see a galadar, a big tamad chachim, shechog mechachmasi liyireyav. You said it? On the Rebbe? Why not? You're supposed to say it. I've seen people say it for Reb Chaim Kanevsky, right? You see somebody who knows, this is a chachim, you, get, you, say, you say the bracha. So people want to know, there's a big deal in the Achreinim, if a person is a tremendous chacham, a mathematician, a genius in math, do you say, he's not a Tamil Chacham, but he's a genius in an area. Do you say, you're a world class anesthesiologist. Do you say, do I say a bracha on you, Dr. Dauber? Why not? Yeah, so what? You're a Jew that has a Chacham. And here you see, in this Gemara you see, that they're, they're boasting, so to speak, the fact that he, he knew Tkufas. He knew Sicha Shadim. That's not Torah. Why is that Torah? And some want to say, well, that was after he knew Kol Kula and everything else. So he added to that, but you don't say the bracha just on that. It's a whole deal in the Achroinim. Mishalai, Mishalai's these are different Mishalim, Mishalai's Shualim, that we're more familiar with. The fox, and the, and the, the fish, and the water, different, different Mishalim that they can more have. Dover Godoil, Vidover Katan, Dover Godol, Maisa Merkava. The greatest of the great is to know, like we say in the Aftaira, the the the, the Merkava, the, the Kisya Kavad, things that we have no idea, and the, the angels have eight wings. It doesn't mean wings that they go like this and they fly. It's it's different Musang that we don't we're not familiar with. That's Dover. What's Dover Katan? This is is Mamish. It needs a lot, a lot of husband. What's Dover Katan? What's a very small thing? Havayas Tabayavirov. What we learn, the whole Shas. That's a small thing. My Merkava. So everybody asks, like, what is going on here? That, that this is a small thing? Different, different tirutzim. So, I saw one shot that I connected to. And that was that if a guy is walking down the street, he's walking on the riverbank, and he sees a, 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 a child drowning in the river. And he jumps right in with his iPhone, and with his wallet and everything, shoes, and he runs and he grabs the kid. Okay, so that's, that's one story that happened to him that day. And then as he's continuing to walk, a poor guy comes over to him and says, could you, could you give me a buck? I need a dollar to, to buy a bagel. He gives him a dollar. Which mice is a greater mice? So the answer is that the mice of giving a dollar is a greater mice. Why? Because he doesn't have to. He's not forced to. There's not a single human being that wouldn't go save that child in the river. It's the obvious thing. You have to do it. There's no, you don't have a way out of it. You, know, you can't depend on anybody else. You're the only one there. So, yeah, so, so the, the, the guy, the TV crew is going to come and interview you there. But in terms of, so that's the same thing here. You have a Dover Katan, but it's really a Dover Gadol. You have, the, these are the basics of, of life. You have to know Gemara, you have to know this. But it's a Dover Katan. It's, it's, it's saving a kid from the, from the, you have to do it. There's no, there's no other way. So That's what they want to say. Okay, anyway. Zog the Gemara. L'kayim ha-shenemar la-hanchil o'ya va-yesh. Yesh is 310. There's 310 worlds, which is to say him, amalei. V'chimiach ha-shakadum shubikulam kach. If Rabbi Yochim is Zakai. Had all of this. He's a giant, should be giants. We don't know anybody like that today. Then all he's like, Chaim Kanievsky is a marshal to that. You ask him anywhere in all Midrashim, he always tell you and this and that. But this is more. This is to understand the, the palm trees and the shade them. And the, it's a different level. So if that's the smallest one, God should be cool and Allah has come of a camel. So then what's Rabbi Yonis and Benuzil? Omer Allah Rabbi Yonis and Benuzil, Bishosh, Yoyshev, Isabek, Torah. When he's learning Torah, Kol Oiv Shepareach, all of me, Ad Nisraf, the angels surrounded him, says Rashi. They wanted to hear the Torah. So there's so much, and angels of fire, there's so much heat going on that they would burn, it would burn a bird. And what about Hilal Zokin? He was the Rebbe of Yerizim in New Zealand. So what about him? So some say that, that it went much higher. Let's say the other one, Yerizim in New Zealand was four Amis, let's say. I don't know how much, but 
pillar was a hundred you know, his fire was greater, or that he had control of the fire, someone to say, fine. Says the Mishnah. Ooh, I was supposed to write down, I started to write, and then I got distracted. The official Mishnah sponsored by official. I forgot, there's a certain Ilu uh, Neshama over here going on. Okay, Yosef, please put it in here. Misha ya roi shoi virubo basuko vishukhone bitechabayis. This is going back to the first perek. I forgot what it looks like. And we discussed over there this Mishnah. Is it, it's actually two cases. A, a large sukkah like this, that ruba vishukhone, a ruba is, is in the sukkah probably, but his table, shukhone is bitechabayis. The concern is that he's going to chase the table back into the house. He's going to lean over and eat food in the house. Or another machlaikas, and then we said the machlaikas later, the another machlaikas is the size of the sukkah. It's a very small sukkah that cannot hold a table. Is that a good sukkah? And we said, no, it must hold a table like Bisham. There's a story. They went to, to visit Rabbi Yochanan ben Choronis. We learned, you have to be oil regal. Not oil to, to, what is it called? Mekal Pnei Rabboi. He actually had a table in the house. So they didn't, they were a moicha. So you see that Allah is not like you, Bisham. Don't bring any rye from there. So we have a machlaikas. What exactly happened there? Did they say something? Did they not say something? Bisham said, no, they did. What did they say? We even know what, he, what they said. We have the words. If this is what you do every year, then it comes out that you never mekayim the mitzvah of sukkah your entire life. Why? Because chachamim, because it's a because it's a Xerid um, Rabbanon, Rabbanon have the right to uproot your mitzvah. There's other mitzvahs. People live their whole life. I forgot, I just heard a story recently. Somebody opened up his tefillin, he's 70 years old, saw his tefillin apostle his entire life. Missing a letter, missing a word. Happens. Or, I don't want to be that kanoi and, and uh, beat a dead horse. But if you have one of those flapping sukkahs in the, in the air, Maybe your entire life you weren't Yaitz This is the first year you should be Yaitz Sukkah, Bezer Hashem. Look, Yam Demitz Sukkah, Miyam Mecha. No Shema Avadim Uktanim Turmin As Sukkah. Sukkah is a mitzvah asay shazman groma. You only make the mitzvah seven days a year, so women are potter. Avadim Uktanim are potter in a sukkah. So, there's a whole thing here. Should a woman be in the sukkah? Should she not be in the sukkah? Shkhanach says that a woman doesn't make a bracha in the sukkah. The Ramah says she does make a bracha in the sukkah. She does make a bracha in a lulav and esrig. Um, the mitzvah says, hey, she has my grandma, she should make. And then there's others that say no. Chas and Shalom, the Riki Yosef says, why do women make a bracha in a lulav? They shouldn't be in the sukkah. A lot of people say they don't come into the sukkah at all. But the Ramah says they should come in and certainly be, if you want to be Mekayim, came to do, Ruteshu came to do, they should come in for you. But in terms of them, Mitzvah Zeish has my grandma. So this is where the Rambam says that women that learn Torah, they're Mekayim and Mitzvah. Just the Mitzvah is not as great as a person who is Mitzvah Vaisa. Because Baruch is Mitzvah to do the Mitzvah. You do it, you get more schar than, than, than some of that's not Mitzvah. But if a woman learns Torah, and it's interesting that just today, I was in uh, Ken's diner, and uh, a guy came, there was a guy from the Shear there, Arya was there, and uh, oh, Ali. and then another guy said, oh, I just started learning with you. And then a Hasidish couple, maybe in their 50s, and the woman says, I learned you Shear. You should have seen the husband, he's like, didn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Different. Different shades of white to match his beard. He had a chash of a and the wife is saying she learns the shiri day. It's very interesting. So over here I have a, a email from a woman. And I don't want to get into it. There's, every time I, if I ever read these emails, I get 25 emails that you shouldn't read of this. So just to not, not, not to bother the oil. We have a, 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 a large variety of people in the shiri that don't appreciate these kinds of emails. I just want to say this. 
I'm going to read this what? It's not anonymous. And I saw this woman on Zoom uh, by the Sima Masech Shabbos. She's been with us since probably the beginning of Shas. But the reason I'm telling you this is because she's from Perth, Australia. It's probably one of the most remote areas of the world with a relatively small Jewish population and even smaller observant one. It's easy to get lost and feel caught, cut off from the world. So this is keeping her connected and she says she's very much part of the, for the, the, the mishpacha and the this and that. I'm not going to say her name. I don't want to get into trouble here. And she learns the daf twice a day and this. The whole zakhir. Listen, she enjoys all the all the animation, the mizbech on fire, the throwing the knives, the tumbling mountain goats, the fist breaking screens, just to name a few. The kids are, there are women, even Hasidish women. I, I got a few already. I got a picture of a real Hasidish with the whole snoot, everything you watch. And that. So I'm saying, I felt better today when I saw the Rabbim say they get a lot of schar, they get schar. Maybe not as much as a man, but they get schar. I, I started, I know I'm opening up a can of worms, but. I, all the way in the beginning when I started receiving emails from women. So I just said, I'm, the women asked me, are you Makbid? I'm not Makbid, it's, it's, it's on YouTube. There are non-Jews, there are, there's many types of people. I'm not going to say you don't learn, you do whatever. You ask a rabbi, if you should or you shouldn't, that's not my business. I'm not getting involved in that. But I usually don't read those emails because then I get 20 emails about why do you read it? It's all the whole zah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're holding. So if it's a minor that doesn't need his mother anymore, we're going to see. It's Gila Chinuch. Chayiv B'Sukkah. He's M'chayiv in Sukkah. We're going to see it's the Rabbana. Maisa V'yaldak Halosu Yishas Shammai Azokin. The daughter-in-law of Shammai gave birth. Upichas is a maziva. Now we know better what maziva is. You know, we used to think, by the way, if you're familiar with all those beautiful mishnahs that they have, I didn't have one with me, unfortunately, it's in Eretz Yisrael. The Yoni one that we, I have permission to show the pictures. They, these pictures, they, they, they stick in your mind. You, you see Shammai coming and opening up the skylight and there's a little crib over there. Are we talking about this baby that's a couple of days old? Someone is saying maybe there's another kid there, but the Pasha says it is. He, oh, he took away the, what is it called? The, the layer of plaster. plaster, thank you, that's on top of the wood. He put schach there for the minor. Says Gemara Rabbanan and Emili, how do you know about women? The Tanur Rabbanan Ezra. So, here's the Pasuk. It says, Kol ha Ezra be Yisrael, Yeshu Vesukas. Ezra. Ooh, I think it's backwards. I hope they don't see it backwards, but maybe, yeah. Okay, fine. Maybe like this, though. <laughs> it is backwards? You see? <laughs> okay, why? I don't know. It is. Maybe there's a way to fix that. Find a different time. Oh, sorry. Where am I? Ezra, ze Ezra. Ho Ezra. But the extra hey, if it would say Ezra, would mean all the residents. Ha Ezra, the, the, with the idea, is only men. Lahoisis Hanoshim. Kol, what about the green over here? Lirab is Ktanim. Teaches you that Ktanim also are chayib. So we're going to see exactly what that means. Omar. Ha Ezra, Lahoisis Hanoshim. Lememra de Ezra. So the word itself, Ezra, means everything, everybody. Bein Noshim, Bein Gavri, men also, Mashma, and the He comes to exclude. So we have a major problem, because when it comes to Yom Kippur, it's the exact opposite. Okay, sorry. Maybe Gary will be in New York, he'll fix it for me. It says, no, it's not fine. Ho Ezroch. Ho Ezroch. It says, Basol HaKadosh Tanus Nafsh Yusechem, V'chom Allah Chaloi Sassu, Ho Ezroch, V'agir Agar B'Sochem. So based on what we just said, Ezra mean men and women are chayiv in Yom Kippur. Ha Ezra, no, women are not chayiv in Yom Kippur at all. They could eat, they could drink, they do whatever, based on what you just said. You just said, men are chayiv, men and women are chayiv in a sukkah. Ha, the extra he says, women are part of a sukkah. So, Yom Kippur also. Men and women are chayiv to fast. 
and everything else, the Chamish Inui. And the Haikam says, no, stop. It's only the ha, huh, only the men and the women are potter. Based on that's the logic you just told me. But that's not what it says. Alma Ezrach Gabri Mashma. So from Yom Kippur is Mashma the opposite. That the word Ezrach means only men. And Ha Ezrach doesn't come to exclude, it comes to add. It comes to say women also. So we have a major problem. Does the hay take off or the hay? Does the is the hay a memai or hay is mirabah? Comes to exclude or to include. Omarabo, hilchasaninu. It's in fact, Allah le Moshe Messina. Vasmechiru Rabbana Kroi. And we're going to see in a second what's going on here. So the, the, the Chachamim only used the Pasuk as a Raya, the nice Raya. But not that it comes from the Pasuk. What does it mean? Hai Krov, Hai Hilchasa. Which one? Hey, hey. Besu. And another thing I needed to find out. Kro Lamali. Hilchasa Lamali. Why do I even need a Pasuk? Who needs a Pasuk? It's obvious that women are part of the Sukkah. Why? The Sukkah, Mrs. Hasesh has man grama. The Chal, Mrs. Hasesh has man grama. Noshim Peturais. They're part of because of the simple idea that we know in all of the Torah. Lulav also. Everything. Says the Gemara, Yom Kippur, and the Rav, Yehudah, and Rav, Nafka. And another question. Yom Kippur, I have another Pasuk for him. Dov, Rav, Yudom, and Rav, Chintana, Dov, Rav, Yishmol, Amakro, Isha, Yisha. Dov, Chov, Ches, Omid, Beis. Sponsored. By the way, I tell him, group, for all those in the Shurs and Fours and Shidduchim, please join to him that eight men down that count. When it says over there, when, when you swear falsely, so you get Malchus, the Torah puts them both together. In other words, for Loisase, for Isser, men and women are equal. To eat Ayyim Kippur is Isser, so they're both equal. I don't need a special Pasuk. Omar Abaya, Lo'ilam, Sukkah, Hilchasa, Sukkah, their potter, because there's Allah, Lamesh, Messina, Moshe Rabbeinu, heard from Akash Baruch, Akash Baruch said, you know what? Sukkot is not a is not a holiday that women are chayiv in. So if it's true, at the end of the day, not shem are potter without Allah Why did the Akash have to tell Moshe Rabbeinu that the potter? It's how it is a mitzvah zayis shazman grama, and automatically the potter. Why does the Akash have to tell me that? V'itzrich. So good. That's why Mina Teishu came to Duru. Oh, so here we go back to that idea. There is a chiyuv to live in your sukkah like you live all year long. And all year long, your wife is in the house. Ma'adiro ish v'ishto, yav sukkah ish v'ishto. Kamash malon, that there's no chiyuv for the wife. But at the end of the day, as I mentioned, the Ramah says that it's better for the husband that his wife should be there. So the wife, it's a good idea that the wife should sleep in the sukkah. Kamash malon. Oh, don't, don't worry, Reb Zalman. I received at least 10 emails from different Chabadniks around the world explaining why they don't sleep in the sukkah. I'm not 100% satisfied yet, though. Maybe you'll... I'll show you these emails. Good stuff. A lot of... The, all touching the one... The, basically, the idea, the concept is that the Rebbe felt one of the... They don't say who. They said the Rebbe. You said it's already going back. That the Rebbe felt that he doesn't, <coughs> he doesn't have enough Kedusha to sleep in the sukkah, he is, he's, he's too tame. And in the chassid, they made a kavah choymer. He, so certainly us. <coughs> and then uh, they write over there, but then the Reb himself didn't sleep at all. <laughs> That's what it said. Few people wrote that. He didn't sleep at all for seven days. So then, but then somebody that does fall asleep, maybe he has to make a different cheshman. I don't know. Kids are. But that's what they do. Ton orav omar itzrich. So get chamino, yolav chamisha osar, chamisha osar, mechag hamatzois. We know that women are chayiv in matzah. So if you learn Pesachim with us, it was a sugi that we mentioned a few times over there. Why are women chayiv in eating matzah? Because anybody that has a, a chiyuv of not eating chametz, cannot eat chametz, is mechayiv to eat matzah. So a woman is chayiv in matzah, and we had this gzair shav just the other day. Chamisha asar, chamisha asar, ma'ala noshim chayavos, avka noshim chayavos. I would think, this gzair shav between sukkahs and matzah and Pesach, just like, Women are chayiv in matzah and pesach. So to the chayiv and the sukkah, kamash malon. That's why we need Allah Lachal Mishim Yisinai. Because Baruch came down on the mountain and said, don't eat, don't let the, not don't let, but the women are not chayiv in a sukkah. The hash, the damr, sukkah, il chasom. So if 
that women are part of Ramasukha is Allah Khalamajim Sinai, Krolamali. So then why do I need this hay? This red hay is somebody wants the shkoyach. Why are you trying to don't don't send me stuff in Milshir, please? Rabbi, whatever. Okay. It stopped the YouTube. Okay, thanks. Call Ho Ezrach. What? It works all the way from back there also. All right. Ho Ezrach. The hay. Why do I need this hay? I already learned from Allah Hashem Sinai. The rabbi says Hagerim. So it comes to include a ger. So okay, that, why would I think not? So that I mean, Ho Ezrach of Yisrael. Only the residents of Klai Yisrael. O Rachmona. Velo is Hagerim. Kamash malon. Fine. Yoy maki purim. So we have another kasha. Yom Kippur, we have, if it's an Isser, to eat. So all these surim women are chayven. A woman can't say, oh, uh, it's a Mitzvah Isser as a man grama, so I could do Isurim. She can chal Shabbos, because Shabbos is a as man's grama, it's only once a week. So, obviously not. A woman is chayv to keep all loisases. So why do we need a special pasuk of Ha Ezrach to say that a woman is Chayev Anyam Kippur to fast. It's a it's a lois assay. This is a chorus to everything. So it says the Gemara, no. We're not talking about Yom Kippur. What we're talking about is if you learned Yuma, you know this sugya very well. Yom Kippur the Rav Yudama Rav Navka. Inui. There's a special chi of Yom Kippur to add a little bit to the day of Yom Kippur, right? That whole sugya of the Torah talks about the ninth and the tenth. So we had a few minutes, a few moments on Erev Yom Kippur. Since there's no, you don't get punished if you don't keep those extra minutes. And you're not over in Eloi's essay. It's only in essay. Maybe they shouldn't be in that parasha of the Tosefes. Not Erev Yom Kippur. On those few minutes, maybe a woman shouldn't be chayiv too fast. And keep the chamisha inuim those extra few minutes. Kamash malon. Also at the end of Yom Kippur, kamash malon. Omar mar. Call. So we had in this pasuk call. Call ha Ezra. So from the green call. The rabbi says aktanim. But na noshim ba'avodim aktanim p'tur min asuka. What do you mean a a cotton is chayv in the sukkah? He's potter. Says mefurish in the Mishnah. A cotton is potter from the sukkah. Loy kashim. Kam be cotton shegil chinuch. Kam be cotton shloy gino chinuch. We're talking about a minor, like Shammai's daughter-in-law, a baby. That's a cotton, it's not high even in the sukkah. But uh, one, a kid that already, like six years old, whatever the dachroinim, whatever they say, the ages, we'll see in a second. Let's say a six-year-old, already smart enough. So then, you're chayiv in sukkah. Cotton. Shigiel chinuch. What do you mean? If it's only a cotton, so why? How can we learn from this word called that Yechayven a cotton is Yechayven a sukkah? It's only a chiv the rabbanon at most. Says the Gemara, the rabbanon who cross machdabamu. You're right. It is a the rabbanon. The 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 chacham just want a little bit of a riot to the words. So they, they use the word called. They're gonna have to use the word called for something else. Cotton sheni tzarich liimai. Hey chidami cotton sheni tzarich liimai. What does it mean a cotton that doesn't need to come out to his mother? Literally, doesn't have to come out to his mother. I'm the very Rianai, called Shinifna, a kid who goes to the bathroom, Ben Ima Mikanachte. She doesn't clean him. I don't know. I've, I've seen just recently, my machine in Chicago. I couldn't believe it. I guess I'm, I'm mad at the game for a while. I'm like a five year old kid. Mother goes in, takes care. That's, I think that's normal, Kimat. Maybe. Maybe in Lincoln with a little bit more Mephunuk. I don't know how it works. What do you say, Marty? What age is it? Three. <laughs> Okay, uh, I have to ask the guys in Eretz Yisrael. So you do three. You say five is a little bit exaggerated. Okay, whatever. It, is, uh, it depends. In different uh, different places, maybe it's sort of 18, 19, whatever. It's different different ages. But it, each kid is, each kid, it's getting worse and worse. Today, I, don't, I, I per, personally don't believe a bar mitzvah boy is bar mitzvah 13 today. No? 
Okay, nobody's messing with me. Yeah. Why not? Physically, it's before, uh, psychologically, it's fluctuating. Right. Yeah, yeah, that, that is true because they eat hormones and everything. So physically, it's before. Psychologically, it's like 40 years old or something. When he gets up in the middle of the night, he doesn't start screaming Ima. That's literally 40 years old. I mean, there's a lot of guys. Ima, Nami Kor. Here, the Gemara asks the question. What do you mean? People, when they get into trouble, they start screaming, Mommy, Mommy, you know, on the roller coasters, they're screaming whatever. They're different. They're older kids. They're still screaming, Mommy. If he could wake up in the middle of the night and roll back and go back to sleep without running into his mommy's room, then he is cotton shegia legil chinoch. We had a story that Chama is, I have no idea what time it is. Anybody? I for, oh, here, hold on. Oh, you voice. So you mean Shachar started in the Mismerjur? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Menachem Atez is going nuts now. He's yelling at the screen. He's throwing his shoe. Hi, Menachem. <laughs> How you doing? It's another 10 minutes only this year. Wow. Okay. We're having too much fun here. Maisa, you're the guy Maisa, Lister, you tell me that a cotton that age doesn't need a sukkah. And then a second later, you tell me that Shammai made a sukkah. Shammai machmir. Shammai was super machmir on this. And like we had yesterday, there's no UR on this. And there's even a story which reminded me of a great line that I heard about the Chofetz Chaim. That a couple came to the Chofetz Chaim and said, Rebbe, when should we start being Mechanach, our child? At what age should we start teaching him? So he said, how old is the child? He said, two years old. Ha! You're two years too late or something. You, you, Chinuch starts way before. You bring the kid into the sukkah, it doesn't matter, three months old, whatever. You bring him in, you start training him with the base medrash, you bring him to davening, you start, you start waiting until later on. He says, no, I don't want to. That's chinuch. Says the Mishnah, the official Mishnah sponsored by official. For all seven days, a person must make his sukkah his permanent residence. Stop sitting on the couch during sukkahs and hanging out in your air-conditioned home. You make the sukkah the permanent residence. Yorduk Shamim, once it starts raining, Meimosai Mutalipanois, when could you get out of there? Mishat Tizra when the food starts going bad. The Gemara is going to say it's a very simple food, the easiest one. Mashlu, Mashal. Lemad Davadoyman, there's a Mashal. Levet Shabalim Zerkois Larabi, this is probably the most famous line, I would say, in Mesech the Sukkah. The Mashal is that a servant came to pour. His master, and he took this picture, the, the, the master took the picture. I heard a Rebbe Shavart. You have to guess who said this Vart. He said that Rosh Hashanah and Kippur is din. And that equals like wine. Now you want to make the wine a little sweeter and a little more diluted. So you need to add water with rachamim. Rachamim. How do you do that? With the sukkah. So you add sukkah to Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, which are din. And if you're in the sukkah and you're trying to sweeten up your din, and a Kosh Baruch Hu throws you out of the sukkah, so Kosh Baruch Hu is telling you, I don't want to sweeten the wine. I, I don't want it. I'm not interested in helping you out. Who do you think said this vart? The Vilna Gaon. I saw it, I was like, it sounds like a Chassidish vart. Not. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. No, what do you mean? They're... What? They don't leave the sukkah. Right, there's, right. There's, there's Hasidim that don't leave. There's a whole thing about it. Some say, talking about that, if you stay in the sukkah and you may, you're considered a chassid shaita, some say, you certainly shouldn't make a brach in the sukkah, yet there are those who do stay. Hasidim do stay. Some Hasidim do stay in the sukkah even if it rains. Yeah. But there's, it goes both ways. I've seen people that say, literally, you're a chassid shaita, like any other mitzvah they have to do, you do it anyway. How does it mean? How do you make it permanent? Maybe we should take something from here. This year we should add one nice thing to our sukkah that we don't have every year. One kli, one beautiful thing that you have in your house, bring it out into the sukkah, a nice chair, a nice something. 
linen or or whatever it is mala suka oikha be shoy some tile be suka tile like literally do some exercise in there go back and forth pace back and forth you know those guys in shul during davening i have no idea why they do it to me it seems weird to talk to akash baruch like that if you went to a king i don't know if you go bam 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 but they do it they're back and forth hashem is here hashem is there hashem is everywhere and then, so you do that in the sukkah also it's supposed to be metile in the sukkah Fine, you know what? Let's just stop here because it's late. Menachem Ate is going to kill me. And uh, Reboisai, oh yeah, it's a pretty short daf tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Bezer Shem in New York. Uh, details will be 20 minutes before Shir Bezer Shem tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. L'chaim, l'chaim, l'chaim,